Hi, this is Caleb from Micro Center Technical Support, and today we're going to show you how to add files to removable media in Windows 7. This is useful if you want to move files to a different computer, and you want to use something like a flash drive or an external hard drive. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that now. Alright, once we've plugged our removable media into the computer, the first thing we're going to do is find the files that we want to transfer to that removable media. I happen to know mine is located in my pictures folder, so I'll open it up, and I'm just going to shrink it down here a little bit and put it in the top left corner of the screen. And notice for this uh, experiment I'm going to be using the Micro Center Heart. You may have seen it before. Once that's done, we'll open up the computer window. In this window we should be able to see all the drives that we can access and explore connected to our computer, including the Micro Center removable flash drive that I have. We'll open that up next. And once that's open, we can view all the folders that we have here. We'll go over to the Micro Center Heart file that we're going to move, right click it, select copy, right click, in the folder, with the Micro Center folder, and select Paste, and that's one way to move it. Now, just as an alternative here, you can also do this after I remove it. You can also click and hold with the left mouse button and drag the file to the Micro Center removable drive, or whatever drive you're using. Again, as an alternative. Also, you can explore the different folders that are on your removable media by clicking on them. We'll do that now. And you can also put the file in there by dragging or right-clicking and copying. Now, if the folders that exist on the, on the uh, removable drive aren't the ones that you would like to use, you can also right-click in the drive folder, select New and Folder, and make your own new folder. Once you've done that, you can move the file to that by just dragging the file on top of the folder rather than clicking it and going inside. Then you can go inside and verify that it's there. After that, that's it. You're done. And for more information or videos, please check out www.microcentertech.com.